Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a video where I'm going to be trying out a whole lot of new makeup um, that I've recently purchased. Um, I don't have a full face so we're just going to jump in between um, new and old but obviously emphasizing or focusing on the new stuff. So everything that I'm using is drugstore based. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see some new makeup, then let's just get started. Okay, so I have a big box here with stuff in it. Um, I recently received a package from Cosmetics SA with Essence stuff in it and I'm super excited to try it out. So, let's just jump straight in. I have the Coconut Kiss Caring Lip Peeling. Coconut Kiss Caring Lip Peeling. Um, it's a new little lip peel from Essence and it's coconut. It smells like amazing. So I'm going to try that. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. I think you're just supposed to apply it like lip balm. Okay, I can feel there's a scrub in here. So maybe it's just like a scrub for your lips. But it's super satisfying. And you literally feel like you want to eat it. A video? Welcome. I have an issue. What? One of these things I blended in my smoothie and I drank the whole fucking thing. What is it? One of those things that go in the supplement thing. <laughs> um, and it says, do not eat. It's poison. It's... Okay, so Lloyd just ate silica gel out of his protein shake and blended it with his smoothie. So I just had to phone the doctor and all of that. But we're back. Anyway, like I was saying, so now this is really um, like settled in. It feels very nice. It's almost like a, a lip scrub, really. I'll zoom you in so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then it's just like a clear gel, basically, like a lip balm, glycerine kind of thing. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next product, and this is new from Essence, and I was so excited when I saw this. Now, I don't know if you guys know that Essence um, South Africa, or Cosmetics SA, let's say, Cosmetics SA, sorry, has a online web store called The House of Cosmetics, and you can buy all the Cosmetics um, SA stuff on there. So their brands are Essence, Catrice, um, Love Cosmetics, Caribbean Tan, and there's something else on their hand sanitizers and stuff. So I'll link it all down below. But this is the My Skin Perfector Tinted Primer. It says it's an instant blue effect and it has a natural matte finish. So this is what it looks like. I got mine in the shade 20 Nude Beige. And I'm super excited to try this out. Okay, so it's in a tube. It's in a 30 ml tube, like a normal. So it's in a standard kind of essence like packaging. And this is what it looks like. It is a tinted primer as it states, as you can see over here. It almost looks like foundation. So let's see what it looks like on the skin. Okay, so it's very like silicone base, and I love that. I know a lot of people don't. I love a silicone foundation. Um, okay, so I'm just putting it with my hands. Okay, so it is kind of tinted, um, like a very slight tint. Um, it actually feels so nice on the skin. It's like a, that's what it is, it's silicone. It feels like silicone and um it's really going on super easy um i suppose if you're going to the gym or something like that it would be great because the coverage is like minimal but it is it definitely does give a coverage um yeah it's weird it's it's quite nice but um you can see my skin looks a lot more flawless on my cheeks than it does on my head. Um, let me come closer. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see 
uh, really well. It's looking quite washed out on my laptop here. But this is very, very smooth. I think it definitely, definitely um, blurs out those pores. Like, my skin looks so much more flawless here than it does here. I've got some really bad lines. Um, so yeah, I'm quite impressed. I'm going to try and put this on a brush and see, like, the effect. So I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild stippling brush and just put some on here. And... Put it in my onto my skin. It smells. I don't know what it smells like. It's got a smell. It's not ugly. It's not amazing, but it's nice. Okay, so I really want to see how this performs. As I say, I would wear this like to the gym or like. If you wanted to just like pop to the shop quickly to go and buy groceries, especially now in lockdown. Um, I can see, I hope it's coming up with the camera, but I can see here on my viewfinder that my skin looks a lot flawless. Um, or a lot more flawless. And this instant blur effect that they speak about is really there. So let me just read the back. It says... Lightweight mousse texture with a velvety feel, so it's that silicone velvety feel that makes pores optically disappear while leaving skin looking smooth with a natural matte finish. Can be worn alone for natural coverage or under foundation for smoother makeup application and enhanced coverage. So it definitely feels really nice and it definitely, definitely blurs those pores. So yeah, I'm quite excited about that. I'm in the shade 20 Nude Beige and it seems like, I mean, I could wear this with a little bit of blush and um, um, bronzer and it would be great. Okay, so I just went in with my favorite BB cream and my skin looks really, really nice. So I'm super excited about that um, primer, this primer. Um, it looks quite similar in like shape and color to the pink that glow boosting one that I love so just make sure that you get the right one when you look for it um yeah I'm really impressed I think like my pores my skin looks so smooth this is a really nice BB cream though it is the Garnier one that I swear by I just feel that a silicone velvety gelish primer makes your skin look so much more flawless than like a cream or a spray um so yeah okay so I'm just going to warm up my face a little bit so that we can dive into the next new product so this is not new but it's new to me um, I picked it up on sale at Clix the other day so I have the um, the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter palette which I thought I'd use today in conjunction with this and this is the good vibes good memories um, blush and highlighter drops this is in the shade number one, Bloom Day by Day. And I've never really used a liquid highlighter bl and blush duo really per se ever. So I'm super excited to see how this works. Okay, so it is a beautiful like a pinky shade. So it looks quite pigmented. I'm not going to put too much on. Um, it comes in a little dropper. And I'm just going to use the stippling brush and I'm just going to blend that in to my skin mm, it's got a natural like glowy like a goldy undertone it's very nice I think I'll put a little bit more on you could even put um, normal blush over this and let this be like um, like a primer or a setting thing like I sometimes put a liquid highlighter and then a powder over it so it stays longer um, this actually would look a little bit better more on the higher parts of my cheeks as like my, I don't know if it's picking up because the sun is coming and going, but it's quite like golden. So if you follow me, you'll know that I am obsessed with the Essence City Palette um, eyeshadows. And in South Africa, we have recently just got a new one and it's the Hello Berlin one. And I have not even opened this. It's still got the packaging on it and everything. I am so excited. Look at these beautiful shades. And just to read you a little bit more, it says, Hello Berlin, lose yourself in Berlin's hype, art and vibrant melting pots. A selection of nine highly pigmented eyeshadows inspired by Berlin's alternative lifestyle, including metallic, 
and matte shades. So now if you don't know the Essence City palettes, they are, let me get them for you. Okay, so this is what they look like. And we have one to five here in South Africa. And now they've just launched the one I just showed you, the Berlin one, and that's number 10. So yeah, it's a little confusing. Anyway, this is the Good Day Sydney one. I've just done an IGTV video using this palette. It's beautiful. Then number two is Salute Paris. Comment down below if you'd like to see an eyeshadow look using these palettes. This is more muted purples and grays. Then we have Hello New York, which has got beautiful grays, purples, and blues in it. Then we have Ola Rio. I have a video on this. I will link it up here somewhere, whichever side it is. And whoops, these are also very beautiful shades. I mean, that pink is beautiful. And then we have, this was the latest one we had, um, Swaz, Swaz D Bangkok. And these are beautiful um, warm shades. This is so nice for autumn. Love, love, love. And then today we have the Berlin palette. So let's take this plastic off. And let's have a look at these shades properly. Right, so we have like a matte shade over here, which you could set your like eyeshadow primer or concealer with. Then we have two beautiful like brownie, pinky um, shimmer shades, a beautiful brown for a transition shade. The stunning gold, it reminds me of the one in the um, Roxy palette. And then we have a gorgeous dark green and like an olive green, a black and a dark brown. So I'm super excited. So let's prime the lids to give these eyeshadows the benefit of the doubt. And today I'm going to prime with my Camouflage um, Plus Concealer. This is the, it's all rubbed off, but I think it's the Health one or the Glow one or something. It's not the matte one. And I'm just going to place that on there. And I'm just going to rub it in, pat it in. So I'm not going to do a cut crease or anything too hectic. I'm going to do a basic look. So let's open up. I'm going to dive into this shade over here. And I'm just going to set the concealer that I've placed on my lid. These shadows are so pigmented in the other palette. So I am giving this one lots of thumbs up and hoping it's going to be as pigmented. You can already see how beautiful the shade is going onto the eye. So that is a beautiful base shade ready for that eyeshadow to pop. Sorry, I have so many things on this table in front of me that I cannot actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and okay so there was a little bit of fallout there you saw me blow it but that doesn't bother me might bother you i'm going to pick up this shade over here and i'm going to work that into my crease it's quite pigmented as you can see what's being picked up on my brush and i'm just going to lightly place that into the crease as like a transition crease kind of shade And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, so, so far that is a really pretty transition shade. I think the colors are going to blend really well into it. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, so I'm going to pick up a bit of a smaller blending brush, a softer crease brush, and I think I'm going to go in with... What color should we do today? I think I'm going to go in with this brown. Let's do this brown. And this looks very, very pigmented. So, yeah, I'm just going to pat that on the outer corner and then bring it in. Okay, guys, this is really pigmented brown, so remember to dust some off on your brush. You can just tap on the top and it comes off pretty well, but I'm actually quite liking how pigmented this is. It's very, very nice. This palette's come just at the right time because these are nice autumn shades with like a pop of color. Okay, so these are blending seamlessly as you can see and like I absolutely thought that they would. I'm going to go with a huge fluffy brush and I'm going to go back into that shade that we used um, to set the lid and I'm just going to blend out any harsh edges along the top. I love doing this because sometimes, you know, if you just put your brush a little bit skew then you get like a harsh edge or whatever. Okay, I'm going to pick up a flat brush now and I'm gonna go into this like no I'm gonna go into this shade I feel like a bit of a pinky vibe so this is a little bit of a pinky pearly shimmer shade and I'm gonna pack that from the inner corner to the middle These shimmers and in the other um, palettes are all so pigmented. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. Then I'm going to pick up that darker pinky brownie shade. And I'm going to use that to go in the middle of the two shades. So the dark brown and the lighter shimmer. Sure, it looks pretty. It almost looks like a mauvey brown shade. <sighs> okay, like I've stated before, the shimmers do have a little bit of kickback. That's okay for me. <sighs> okay, so I think I'm going to use the gold because I want to try and use like all the colors for this. And just place it like next to or on top of that blending shade there to like blend the two together and you can use this fluffy ugh, you can use this flat brush to also pick up some of the dark brown and dust it off and then just pick up and redo the outer corner because it might have got a little bit lost with the shimmers and the fallout Okay, there, we've brought it back, and it's super, super pretty. I love this palette. Okay, now I really want to try out this black, so I'm going to pick up a, um, this is actually an eyebrow brush from Essence, but an angled brush, you can use any one really. Um, this maybe will do a job better. Okay, now let's do this one. And I'm going to try and draw a very subtle liner with the black. So I'm going to go into the black with this um, brush. And it looks pigmented AF, guys. Pigmented AF. So be careful. And I'm just going to tap this along the top of my eye. Where I would normally put eyeliner. OMG. Can you see? This is so pigmented. My goodness.
I just did like a kind of a wing with my eyeshadow. How beautiful is this black? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is fabulous. I just did a winged liner with this black and it is a really nice black. It's very pigmented, but it's not like in your face and not like workable. Okay, then I'm going to pick up a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this olive green and I'm going to put this underneath my eye. Okay, you have to do it like very subtly because otherwise you're going to be look like look like you've been knocked out. I am going to go back in with this lighter shimmer and I'm just going to Put it a little bit lower and give myself like an inner corner highlight and then i'm going to dust the same shade just at the top here as a brow bone highlight right guys that is the okay guys so that is the berlin palette it's super pigmented super beautiful Super everything. I think maybe I'm just biased because I love these shades and these palettes so much. They're so easy to travel with. They have a mirror. You literally slip them in. Like if we go to the farm for the weekend, I choose one. I use that. I use it as my highlighter. I use it as everything. It's so thin. If I don't have space, I just slip it into the side of my handbag and off we go. And you can make thousands of looks from just these palettes that have two, four, six, eight, nine, nine eyeshadows and there's like a thousand different looks. So I'm quickly going to put some eyebrows on and then we're going to carry on. Okay, so the next product that I want to try out is this new mascara from Essence. So this is the Bye Bye Panda Eyes, which has been such a hype lately. And sorry about the light. <laughs> If you are a contact lens wearer like me, I'm hoping that this is for us because um, you would know that our makeup smudges quite a lot, a lot, but it smudges easier than non-contact lens wearers because our eyes are always watery or, you know, all that jazz, okay? So I'm dying to try this out. Let's open it and have a look. So this is the spoolie or the mascara brush. It's quite thin and straight. So this is, says it is volume and defining mascara. I'm not sure if it's waterproof because if it's not, it says mascara for clean volume and defined lashes made to last all day without smudging and clumping, easy to remove with only warm water, no makeup remover required. Hmm, That's interesting seeing that it's a no smudge. Okay, let's put this thing to the test. Now I am quite critical of mascaras as you will know. I only use one mascara. I have thousands but I, oh. if that happens to you where the mascara hits the top of your beautiful eyeshadow that you've just created, leave it. I'll show you a trick now. Um, so as I was saying, I am quite critical. I only use one mascara. I have been venturing out in this lockdown while I've been creating content for you guys. So my ride or die is no other than the Princess, um, the Lash Princess Mascara in purple. It has to be purple. But I've been venturing out in the other one that looks like this one that we're trying out. This is the I Need a Miracle um, Mascara. This one has been really nice. And the thing I like about this is that it has a, 
Okay, now it's rolled down there, but anyway, we'll still talk about it. It has a tinting complex and a strengthening complex. So what perfect time then to use that when you're around the house, that you'll have a little tint and you'll have a strengthening um, treatment or procedure. Okay, so as this is going on, um, it's beautiful and I can see the volume it is creating. I also like the definition and that's what it spoke about was it's a defining mascara. Like my lashes look, they don't look clumpy. Oh, it said no clumping here without smudging and clumping out. So they don't look clumpy. They look wispy and I quite like that look. So there you can see with and without. It's pretty, pretty nice. Life was dull until you came. I was Okay, so back with thoughts about this mascara. Um, I really like it. I think it's something that I'm going to be using. It is a little bit more work than my favorite one. This one, maybe I've just got used to the brush and using it because I've been using it for since it came out, which is probably more than a year. Um, this one, you've got to like, you know, define it and whatever. This one, I just know how to put it, but maybe because I'm, like I say, I'm so used to it. And also it has a curved and like, more thinner tip where this one is totally um straight so you've got to like get in there but i mean it's beautiful i mean you saw the difference and all of that so yeah that's it's a pretty nice mascara then for highlighter i'm gonna go in with the matching one of this just because it's not new i've had it for a very long time it's so weird how these trends work because one place has a trend and then like six months later the next place comes out with a trend so i don't know but this is the good vibes good memories duo highlighter in the shade shine bright and bloom it's a gorgeous like pinky highlighter and i'm just going to highlight my face okay so for lipstick they sent me this um number seven matte in purple power Okay, that's a beautiful like purpley berry shade and then all my essence setting sprays are finished so this is pretty new to my collection i got this in america and this is the pacifica coconut essence hydro mist but it's really good for setting makeup as well we don't get this brand here per se on the shelves but i'm sure are oh, like companies i'm not sure if muse sells any pacifica i will have a research oh it smells delicious also coconuts i got two coconut products on my skin um i'll have a research and let you know if i can find anywhere where we can purchase pacifica it's a really nice brand um and if we can i'll be so excited because i'm really into their stuff right so that is this video that is it for this video um i absolutely actually loved every product that I tried I mean this a coconut um, lip stuff felt really nice I think I'll use this before I go to bed um, or before like a seriously matte or bold lip that's why it works so well with this this primer is amazing I would highly highly recommend this primer if you wanted me to do a more in-depth video on just this primer I can um, this eyeshadow palette is great I mean look at this beautiful like natural but a little bit of pop of color look really worth the money um this mascara i think it's gonna grow on me the purple lash princess is still my favorite but i mean it did a really good job so mascaras are gonna grow on me you know <laughs> <laughs> then this good vibes good memories i like it i just think it needs to go a little bit more up here because now i've got like gold specks of glitter on my cheeks although i shouldn't complain because like i'm a real highlighter freak so yeah and then this lippy is just beautiful the all their mattes i mean i have another one here and another one here i have a whole lot of these they're really really pretty and then for this pacifica that i used um 
I'll try and find out, but I can't promise. So this was a really good first impressions um, video, I must say, because all the products I'm pretty impressed with. Anything else you would like me to try, I'll try my best to get my hands on it during lockdown. And yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe, you're staying well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it till here, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Open eyes.